more than 4 billion people live across Asia. And we are telling their stories. In this edition, the lengths one small town in Japan goes to for their zero waste goal. Spring Festival in China is all about reuniting with family. But this year, many have been advised not to travel in order to stem the spread of COVID-19. Here's what some have to say to their loved ones. Hello and welcome to this edition of Assignment Asia. I'm Barnaby Lowe. Japan is a country known for its spotlessness. It is also the world's second largest consumer of plastics. How much exactly? In terms of plastic bags, for instance, it's 30 billion a year. Like anywhere else in the world, there is growing awareness here of the issue. But one small town in particular is taking it a step further by going zero waste. It was early in the morning when we arrived at Takayoshi Kubo's home. First thing I see is trash all sorted and neatly lined up by the front door. Since 2016, Takayoshi has had to sort his trash into 45 categories. So when you got your information sheet from the town hall telling you how to sort your garbage, and it's like 45 different categories, what was your reaction? It's a far cry from decades ago, when everyone simply burnt or composted their waste in their own backyard. So 100% recycled, 100% used in your fields, your food waste. The composting hasn't changed, except he's gotten some help. So this is the machine that residents of Kamikatsu use to dispose of their organic waste. So it's really simple. They just put soil, put the organic waste, and this machine mixes the soil and the organic waste and then it produces fertilizer. That's it. Takayoshi has to do all these because his town is aiming for zero waste. えっと、ま、目標の中にやっぱり埋め立て焼却をゼロにする、ゼロに近づけていくということがあるんですけども、あの、現状ま、リサイクル率は80%で、やっぱり残りの20%というものはどうしてもこう焼却だったりとか埋
reduce, reuse, recycle. Starting with organic waste. でその時にあの一般家庭から出るゴミの4割はあの生ゴミだということが分かりましてでまずは生ゴミの堆肥化というところから取り掛かりましたであのどのようにまあ堆肥化をしているかといいますとあの一般の住民の方に対してはあの家庭用の生ゴミ処理機を、えー、どうにあの少額の負担金で購入できるように、まあ、町が補助をしております。But what about the rest of the town's waste? The 60%. It was a taller order that needed all of Kamikatsu working together. In a town so rural, there's not a single supermarket. This resto bar stands out. But it isn't only because it's a western watering hole where no one else is. Rise and Wind Brewery is a living monument of Kamikatsu's zero waste mantra. クラフトビールで、まあ、町の紹介もしているんですけれども建物に廃材を使っていますで町にとってはあのなんだろうえ町から出た、まあ、廃材とか例えばこの窓だったら廃校になった上勝の小学校の窓枠を使っていたりしてもう一度廃材に光を当てるような工夫をしています。はい Step in, and it's impossible to miss the message. From the furnishing to second hand and eco friendly products for sale. And if you still don't get it, there are literally words all around the place that encourage a zero waste lifestyle. コンセプトがやっぱゼロウェイストなんですけどやっぱ来てくれるお客さんがゼロウェイストを知らなくても楽しんでもらえるような工夫をしていて私たちクラフトビールなのでビールの量り売りをしていて例えばこれグラウラーボトルなんですけどこれに今日飲むビールはタップから注いでその日飲んでまた洗って何度も使えるボトルを私たちは勧めています。So we can buy this. Take this home, bring it, to, bring it to your restaurant, and then have you refill beer or whatever. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's really cool. <laughs> cool doesn't even begin to describe what Kamikatsu, the town, has done towards getting to its zero waste goal. The real action takes place here. At the town's garbage station. ここは上勝町で一つだけあるゴミステーションでゴミステーションガーベージステーションガーベージステーション、yeah. okay. で町民がみんなここに持ってきます、うん、だから収集車コレクションカーはなくて okay. yeah, well, so zero waste. ゼロウェイスでここに来て分けます So that's where、うん、they put all the, the trash that they have from, from their homes. Yeah. This is small one. This is a 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 small But as a board member of the Zero Waste Academy, she's just as involved in Kamikatsu's Zero Waste project. What is the most challenging part of your work here? Concern のない人たちに話を聞いてもらうことが一番大変ですね。どんなに人口が少なくなっても、あんまりこう賛成でない人は絶対に一定数はいると思います。人間だから、いろんな人がいるから。But the majority of 1,500 residents here do comply. Even though segregating is no menial task. I'm a little overwhelmed. How do they 
sort these things out. Um, I mean, how many kinds do you have here? Uh, ああ、Oh, well, why is it why is it so important to have them all segregated like this? これはえっと、お金をこっちが払わないとリサイクルできない。で、分けることによって、その、コストを下げることができる。一番ここの燃やすっていうゴミが一番お金かかるんです。何でも燃やしてたらものすごくお金がかかるけど、ここに分けていってもらえると売れるものもあるし、処理費用が下がるものもある。だからお金をかけずにゴミを処理するっていう理由も一つあります。This Recyclables are passed on or sold to third-party recyclers. But stuff that can be reused or upcycled ends up here. What does it... So what does it say? Kuru, kuru shop. Kuru, kuru shop. Yes, and circulation. What does kuru, kuru, kuru mean? Kuru, yeah. sa circle. Circle? Yes. Okay. Kuru, kuru. And it's interesting. Um, even the sign mm. is uh, off. Buttons? <laughs> Used <laughs> buttons, yeah? Yes, for them are the Okay. How are you? Let's go in. Yeah. Hey, go to your kodomo hukutoka. Yeah. So, um, kodomo suko kikunarukara. Koyu naka reuse the kitara, oka santa chima suko ureshi. Hey, koko ni arumono wa zenbu murio de. Murio. Wow. Mote kae de mas. Yeah. Not all items get picked up, of course. If they don't, they're eventually taken apart and recycled. Ultimately, though, what local authorities would like to see is less reusing and recycling, and more reducing. まあ、ノレジ袋だったりとか、あと量り売りだったりとかで、まあ、その、えっと、容器包装類を、まあ、削減していくための取り組みを、まあ、去年ぐらいからスタートしているところです。Do you get a lot of people who come here and say, "We want to learn what you're doing here?" ああ、それは多いですよね。紙活のゴミのやり方はが自分の町にあったらいいのにってみんな言います。it's flattering. But Sanoa is first to acknowledge that what works for a small town like Kamikatsu may not necessarily work for bigger, more populous cities. One might assume zero waste towns are common in Japan, given its reputation of being clean. But they aren't. In fact, Japan has a pretty serious waste problem. In Japan, and we have 9 million tons of plastic waste every year, that's, which is a lot. Just to be clear though, Japan is not the world's biggest generator of plastic waste. But when you look at the amount each person contributes, it's the second highest globally, according to a 2018 United Nations report. 
Only Americans generate more plastic waste per capita. プラスチックのバッグをくれないとですね、消費者にとっては、えー、店のサービスが悪いというふうにまでなってしまったということが大きな問題だなと思います。Okay, so just to show an example of just how obsessed the Japanese are with plastic packaging, I just got out of a convenience store and I bought a bottle of soda, and this, of course, ordinarily would come in a Plastic bottle, but one piece of banana wrapped in plastic. And then this, you know, it's already got a plastic cover, but it's still covered in another layer of plastic. And of course, there's a plastic bag. All that plastic will have to wind up somewhere. The Japanese used to ship a significant chunk out, mostly to China. But in 2017, China said, "No more." 2017年に中国が輸入禁止を発表してからですね、まあ日本でもリサイクルのマーケットが非常な混乱にが陥ってしまったということがあります。The long-standing claim has been that the country recycles 80% of its plastic waste. But when I went to a waste treatment facility in Tokyo, I discovered this definition is rather broad. ここで処分しているのは燃やすごみと粗大ごみ大きいごみですねあと不燃ごみあとを処分しておりますまずここに運ばれてきた不燃ごみは細かく破砕されますで残った燃える部分ですねプラスチックの部分とかゴムの部分とか燃えそうな部分はゴミ焼却炉に出して燃やしてサーマルリサイクルをして灰はエコセメントに変えるっていうことをしています。Waste is considered thermally recycled when its incineration produces energy. This facility and buildings nearby run on electricity produced by the incineration here. Now, remember that widely proclaimed 80% plastic recycling rate. It includes thermally recycled plastic waste. Environmentalists argue that it shouldn't. In a real situation, this this isn't really should be calling to、uh, recycling. It should be part of、uh, incineration, but but different from simple incineration. And the incineration releases CO2, so it contributes to global、uh, climate change. Tokyo's waste management officials are aware that thermal recycling isn't the best solution. They do want to go zero waste in the long run, but they're starting with baby steps. 30何種類に物を分けるというのを徹底をするというのはこれはまあ難しいなというふうに思います。あの紙カットでやっているような分別でまず我々学ばなければいけないのは。やはりプラスチックの容器包装の分別ということです。このことによって2030年までにまプラスチック類のご家庭が出るプラスチック類のですね、消費今現在いや東京都内で70万トンが焼却に回ってますけれども、その焼却量をですね、40% 削減しようというのが我々の2030までの目標です。Charging for the use of plastic bags. A policy that turned national mid 2020 is a start, but Yasuo believes more needs to be done. Tokyo's companies have to work together to make the products safe. From the beginning, the first step was to make the products safe. From the beginning, the first step was to make the products safe. From the beginning, the first step was to make the products safe. From the b e g あの今はまあ役場とまあ町とまあ消費者あの住民という形でまあこれまで頑張ってきてまあ 80% というもの,のところまで守ってはきたんですけどもあのここからはやっぱりこう生産者にもあのとも協力しながらあのゴミの減量というものに取り組んでいけれたなということであの新しいセンターにはあのそういった企業の方とあの連携が進められるようなあのシェアオフィスだったりとか。While it's up to authorities to enact green policies, 
Takayoshi Kubu says he'll continue doing his share. Although it's getting more and more taxing for a man his age. Maybe that's just the mindset we all need. That working towards zero waste isn't just about saving the environment, but humanity. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Three words we all have heard, but may not necessarily be applying to full extent in our daily lives. But it's possible, as Kamikatsu has shown. The question now is how to do it on a much larger scale. Up next, how some in China feel about not being with family over the Spring Festival this year.回想去年这时我也身在武汉正是因为这些支持与理解老妈让我爸少喝点酒这又一年了安全第一做嘛行加油爸爸嗯
。好在有我姐在你们身边照顾，我也放心很多。知道你们也惦记我，总是担心我的收入。之前我是比较随性一点，有了黑豆以后，我比之前进步了很多，自己的音乐事业也发展的不错。去年出了两张专辑。现在我也在一所大学当老师，最近正在编写一套在线的音乐教材。对了，我的新曲子已经创作完成，疫情好一些就可以录制了。新的一年我会安排乐队做一个巡演，肯定要在家乡安排一场。这一年的疫情确实对我们产生了很大的影响，但我们也在努力寻找新的机会。请你们放心。Hello， 大家好，我是冯维。虽然平时也能发信息、打电话联系，但是越长大越想多在你们身边陪陪你们。都说每逢佳节倍思亲，此刻真的很想你们。<笑>对，差不多是这个意思。儿子，明天你就过生日了，妈祝你生日快乐啊！今年过年回不来了，疫情哈，就是咱不能给国家添乱呐，就在北京过年吧，跟孩子他姥姥姥爷在一起过年不也挺好的吗？等疫情过去的时候，完了你们再回来，妈给你们做好吃的。啊，疫情也快过去了，这现在这啊，就是控制的挺好，嗯、啊，过完春节了再回来吧，嗯、呃，把好吃的给你们留着。啊，还有大孙子抱回来啊！啥时候都能吃。嗯、啊，啥时候能吃？你爸妈妈、爸爸，你妈他妈是好玩。大宝、小宝，想爸爸妈妈了吗？在家乖不乖啊？马上就要过年了，因为疫情的原因，我们现在还不知道能不能回家。万一我们回不去，你们在家一定要听外公外婆的话哟，照顾好妹妹，也要写好作业哦。爸爸妈妈给你们买了新书包、新玩具。昨天已经给你们快递回去了，记得叫外公外婆去拿快递哦。等到暑假疫情结束的时候，再把你们接到北京来玩。爱你们的爸爸妈妈。嗯、春节回家，初八开业，祝大家新年快乐！好、哦，你、嗯、们好。Okay, okay. 